What is going on everyone? Monday morning, busy day. Always a busy day. <sighs> Just made my breakfast and I'm gonna eat this real quick before I start doing my work. So for breakfast I have got two whole eggs, avocado, steak burger, and four rashes of bacon. I've also got my cup of coffee. So I really need to wake up. So I haven't really been feeling myself this morning. I'm not sure if I'm overthinking things. I'm not exactly sure what it is. But I'll let you guys know a bit later on once I figure it out in my head. But anywho, um, yep, yeah, I'm gonna eat and then it is client stuff today, online clients. I think I might have two spaces for online clients, I'll double check and I'll let you know, but I think I might only have two spaces left. So I'll put my email address on the screen if you guys are interested in online coaching, um, give me a shout. <sighs> but until then, I'm gonna eat and I'll chat to you in a little bit. All right guys, so I am taking a break from doing some work. Um, my head's just a bit all over the place and I think I've been really analyzing what's been going on with like, uh, YouTube and all that kind of stuff and I love making these videos I love making these videos for you guys I love trying to educate you guys and let you know what's on my mind but sometimes I think that I think the thing that's been getting to me is that when you watch a lot of the American YouTubers there's, there's a lot of unity there's a lot of um, people willing to help each other and um, you know just willing to collaborate and put things out together but in the UK it seems to be the complete opposite it seems like once channels get really big, then they, it's almost like start forgetting about the the smaller channels and stuff like that, and it just it frustrates me because I don't I I don't personally feel that the unity between UK fitness YouTubers are there where everywhere else, not even just fitness related in in America, it's it's huge. All of them stick together, all of them do things together. Even other bigger UK YouTube channels that aren't fitness related, they all stick together. So two things. I found out that they do um, YouTube conventions. There's going to be one called Summer in the City, I think it's called, at the Excel. I'm going to be there both Friday and Saturday. If any of you guys have heard about it, or if any of you guys are heading there, and or if any of you guys are heading there, then let me know. I'm going to be there Friday and Saturday for show to meet some new people, network, and try and meet some other YouTubers uh, that are willing to kind of do work together. And that brings me on to point number two. Now, I'm not the biggest channel. I don't have, I might not have as many views as some of the channels with the same amount of subscribers as me. I don't actually understand why, but um, I'm okay with it. And I'm still gonna keep putting out content. Just please share, share, share these videos. But to give back, I had an idea from, which stemmed from a guy called Knight Rider Fitness. He has a channel called Knight Rider Fitness, which um, his slogan is small channels unite. He has a very powerful message of, you know, a lot of the smaller channels have great information and it's, it's time to kind of get out there, work together and make a difference and showcase these channels. So what I'm gonna be doing every week, as long as I get the submissions in and you guys send in the videos, if you create a, however long you want the video to be, if it's a vlog, if it's a, um, workout video, just anything that really reflects what you do and what your channel's about and the information that you put out, I will feature it on my channel every week um, until submissions stop. So that's my way of trying to create unity because I'm, I'm really, really frustrated with the UK YouTube scene, if I'm honest. So People can get butt hurt over this, but this is how I'm feeling. This is how I'm feeling right now. I'm gonna get back to work. I'm gonna get some more stuff done. I've got a client to train and then I'm gonna train myself and today is PR time. But just thought I'd get that out there early in the video whilst it's still fresh in my head. So there you go. I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. So I just got to Metroflex and I was rushed leaving the house because I was so caught up in work and conversations um, with clients and new projects that I'm working on that 
I lost track of time, realized I had to leave, and the only thing that I've got with me is my right hand man, which is my bottle of water. So, um, yeah, about to train my client, and then I've got to go back home, get something to eat, change, uh, grab my gym gear. <sighs> madness, madness. But I think this is my client pulling up uh, behind me right now. So we're about to, well, she's about to smash legs. I'm about to smash legs later. What's up guys? On the way to Easy Gym. Nice training today. Um, so today is testing my one rep max on hamstring exercises. So the two that I'm gonna be testing, I think is hip thrust and, sorry, glute bridges and stiff leg deadlifts. And then I'd probably do a little bit of just accessory work, but nothing too major because I need to save my energy for bench tomorrow. So that is the plan. That's what's going to be executed. It was a bit of a struggle getting out of the house. I wasn't really feeling like training today. Didn't really feel like it at all. I just wanted to be a couch potato and sit on the sofa and watch come dine with me. But uh, I didn't want to do anything. No work, nothing. But I'm out. Take my pre-workout, feel a bit better. Let's see what numbers I can throw up today. So we will see you at Easy Gym. Okay, so done my warm up. Done one set with just a 45 each side. Gradually working up, doing singles. Um, just increasing the weight. Don't wanna stress myself too much because I still need to do one rep. So, as you're working up, make sure the muscles are warm. And on my app, it says that for this, my one rep max is, say, 184, 184 kilos. So that's what I work with the singles up to. I'll try that, if it feels good, I'll go heavier and set the new bar. So that's the plan. Let's do it. I'm gonna let you guys in my head for a second. So, as I've been doing the build up, that's now on four plates, so 180 kilos. As I've been building up to, I've just been listening to quite calming music, um, a few of Future's slower songs. Um, now that I'm heading towards my one rep max, I'm now listening to some motivational stuff, and when I go past it, then the carnage starts. So, that's how I kind of set my music. So right now I'm going to hit the 180, one rep. Alright, so I've done 180, went up easy. I'm going to shoot straight for 200. Just done 230, which was quite easy, so to speak. I think I could have gone heavier, but yeah, you know, I'll just I'll leave it as that. 230 is good. 230 is good. It went up. It's a good speed going up, but I feel like I've got more in the tank. 
but I also don't want to snap my shit. You get what I mean? So, yeah. On to glute bridges. Let's see what happens. On the glute bridges. So they're saying it should be 203. I'm gonna go straight to 203. I just did one set on 150. Uh, I'm gonna go straight to 203 and see how that feels because it's stiff like that. So easy from the ad where it said my one rep, my one rep max should be. So just go straight to the one rep on this one according to this. So, upstairs, doing something that probably most people neglect. Something I've neglected a lot, which was the reason for most of my pains. We are stretching. Yeah, 300 on the glute bridge. Quite happy with that. But, checking with you guys properly when I get home. Right now I need to finish this stretching. All right guys, so I am back home and I'm really happy with that session, very, very happy. 300 kilo on the glute bridge, 230 on the stiff leg deadlifts. Now I'm onto this website called Chaos Reigns where I'm now calculating my rep maxes. Now the good thing is, now my one rep max, predicted one rep max, has now been become my eight rep max on both of the lifts. So this one I'm talking about with progressive overload is the key. You need to leave your ego at the door Concentrate on your form to an extent, but you know the forced reps Didn't work for me. Um, I just made sure I had maybe two or three left in the tank and Just increase the weight each week. So your muscles are still getting the progressive overload stimulation which it needs for growth so Very very happy very happy, but right now I'm gonna tuck into These two beef patties. I'm gonna have a protein shake and a bowl of crunchy nut because I feel like it I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. Peace. What's happening guys? Back in the kitchen, just cooking up some food. It's been a long evening. I, yesterday, because we went to um, the fun fair, I didn't get a chance to edit as many videos as I normally do. So had to catch up today, still had client updates, I still had some other bits of work to do. I haven't quite finished, I still got a few emails to send, um, just finalizing a few things that I'm working on. <sighs> so, God damn it. <sighs> Can you drop the spoon, middle of cooking, so it's frying, you have to wash it. I'm not washing it, I'm gonna take another one. Anyway, um, Right now I'm just making the stir fry because I got two packs of beef the other day so I'm just making the stir fry beef with the spicy rice noodles and mushroom stir fry in a red Thai curry sauce. So yeah, Chef C in the house. Like I said this morning with the smaller channel features doesn't have to be just UK. I'm talking worldwide. If you're in Australia, if you're in um, New Zealand, if you're in America, I don't know why I'm naming these places specifically, but <laughs> if you're anywhere, anywhere, UK, wherever, as long as you send them to me, you know, they're still fitness related. I don't want to be getting on porn videos saying, hey, put up my video, thanks. So <laughs> as long as they're fitness related and it's good information and it really just tells what your channel's about, I will put it up on my channel. So, big shout out to uh, Small Channels Unite. I know you guys are doing big things, there's a big collective of you guys. I'm gonna finish cooking and then I'll catch up with you when I am ready to eat and when this is done. P.S. I need a selfie stick. My arm is killing me. Shoulders, they can't take this isometric contraction. All right guys, so it is now about 11 o'clock. I'm just on my laptop. Just going through uh, the comments. And to be honest, I'm genuinely 
really pleased with um, the comments on the last video. A lot of people, a lot of you guys are realizing that I'm uploading daily and the support that you guys are showing is really good. And big shout out to Aesthetic Dream Chaser who um, left a comment literally just now saying that the daily vids are giving people a chance to see me for me. And I think when I read that, I kind of felt a bit, a bit warm inside. Because <laughs> when I'm well, I'm talking to the camera. I feel like I'm talking to you, and I think the the momentum changed when I met so many of you at Body Power, and so many of you came to see me, and I had business cards ready to say, "Hey, check out my channel," and then so many of you were like, "Oh, I already watch your channel." It was just it was mind blowing for me. So then it gave me faces to talk to, um, which you know I I like to just tell you guys about my day it, I, I love this I love this so just wanted to say thank you for the support that you guys have shown um, big shout out to all the new subscribers that have joined the channel and yeah please just continue to share um, the videos I'll comp continue to make the videos on a daily basis and yeah so that was all soppy and shit wasn't it <laughs> but I'm um, just gonna I still haven't finished sending all the emails and stuff, but got some good things lined up. Got some good things lined up. Some good content uh, coming your way, which I think you'll like. So I'm going to end the vlog now because I'm just going to finish up these emails and I'm going to head to bed, try and get up early and <laughs> start it all over again. So don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. If you like the vlog, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you guys for all the support that you guys have shown. Big respect to all of you guys, and I will catch you guys tomorrow. Peace. Remember to always be true, no matter what you do. I never front it, I got my whole cool.